It's a snow day. My boys are gonna be so excited. Woke up to the call that there is no school because of all that snow. We got so much snow overnight, it's kind of crazy. I'm excited about it. <laughs> and I thought perfect day to vlog because Eric was gonna go into the office today and I'm betting he's not even gonna be able to do that. is awake and the look on his face was priceless <laughs> when I told him that there was no school because of snow he asked not even zoom because <laughs> I think that's their natural thought these days is we could still have zoom but no zoom calls the base is closed other than mission essential which I don't know if that would be Eric but regardless none of them are going in today because <laughs> We have five inches of snow. Eric went out and measured on the back deck. Five inches. Austin's still snoozing. I just came downstairs and got the computer ready to go. Got some work to get done this morning. I was gonna record a podcast, but I think I'm just gonna bump that to tomorrow because snow day, everybody's home. I'll just wait until tomorrow and record that then. So I'm just gonna vlog today and answer some emails. I have some yarn to cake up today. What else? I'm looking at my to-do list. I have some prize winners to contact from the 20K giveaway. And just a couple of things to get done. goodness so I have just finished a ton of work but it feels so good to have it done so I've chatted a bit about how I've been working on some new merchandise items and I had mentioned on Instagram that I've kind of just completely changed how I'm doing merchandise for the most part um enamel pins I will still have listed in my Etsy shop progress keepers will still be in my Etsy shop but I'm thinking of going a different route with mugs water bottles there would be shirts if I go this different route. I'm still waiting on samples to come in, but it would be kind of through a a website where I put in the design and then there are just 
so many different options for y'all more than I could keep here to ship out so uh, more on that to come if the samples turn out good hopefully they will because they have so many cute options but I just finished um emailing to see about getting some more crazy sock lady and scrappy sunday enamel pins ordered I've ordered some supplies to ship all of that stuff out. Progress keepers have been ordered for Scrappy Sunday, Crazy Sock Lady, and then some special ones for toe up and cuff down knitters. I can't wait for y'all to see those because they're super cute. So a ton of new things coming. I can't wait to share them all. I have actually, if you're new, because I know we have so many new people here since I had merchandise in the past. Um, I have a couple of them here that I can show you. I'm just realizing I don't have my microphone on here, so hopefully my sound isn't totally crazy. I can tell I have not vlogged in a long time <laughs> since Vlogmas. It's been over a month, so I'm going to have to get this added. Let me do that real quick and then we will continue. All right. Hopefully that's better. I hope you could hear what I was saying. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. But those are all of the, um, enamel pins that I had before. Other than the summer sock camp, I do have one left here this was last year's logo but this will kind of give you guys a peek at what it might look like it's similar but different for this year's summer sock camp logo so cute so that was last year's logo there will be more of these i have not ordered them yet um the logo is adorable i'll probably order those in march and summer sock camp merchandise will probably be end of April beginning of May I don't have a set date yet but kind of what we're looking at probably so yeah super exciting that I've got all of these um they'll probably send me a quote here this afternoon and then those will be ordered progress keepers have been ordered I'm excited to kind of get back into full work mode. I feel like everything's kind of been trickling in slowly since we moved and now I'm just ready to get fully back into it. I finished this sock. So I am knitting these for Eric, hopefully for a Valentine's Day gift because look at that. That's just perfect for Valentine's Day. So I finished the first sock last night and started the second sock. I'm just about done with the cuff, I think. This is Regia Perfect. I will have my project page linked down below for you if you want to check out more details. Are you excited that it's a snow day? No. No? Why? Yes and no. Why? Because, yes, because school's canceled, no, because the game might get canceled. I think it'll still be on. Your dad said the roads are okay. What kind of donut did you get? Chocolate. Is it good?
have mopped myself into the spot where my yarn is and the rice cooker that still needs to be put up <laughs> from lunch. Eric is on a meeting downstairs. I am going to work on these socks and then we're gonna go for a walk in the snow. And no, I did not knit this. I'm sure somebody's gonna ask because the last time I wore it, a lot of people did. I did not knit this.
tell everyone why the pizza is so different on each side? Oh, I thought you were going to talk about what happened outside. But. No. Oh dear. <laughs> Drop the camera. It's different because Wyatt's a weirdo and likes a lot of cheese. And I don't like a lot of cheese and I like more sauce. So your dad makes the pizza special for each of you. Mm -hmm. So what happened outside? So we were just having a friendly snow, a snowball fight. Yeah, we were. And then I go to throw one at Wyatt and then turn around. And he throws one and it hits me straight in the middle of my face. Did you do that? I don't remember. <laughs> And then I fell over and I went inside because I couldn't see out of my right eye. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It hurt really bad. Alright, Eric ordered bonsai trees. So we're gonna plant them. We each get to plant. Alright, so. Oh, this is gonna be a quick. Um, what are you doing? This is gonna be a quick process. We have to scratch the outer shells and let them sit for a day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, we have to scratch them, soak them in room temperature water for 16 to 24 hours before planting. That'll make them absorb water and swell. And easier for the seedlings to emerge at a later stage and shortens the germination time. I just finished a knit group zoom night and it was so much fun it's great it was a lot of ladies I have never met before so that was super fun to meet some new knitters hopefully I'll be able to join again and I've tucked Wyatt in and now it's time for me to head to bed because I'm exhausted <laughs> it is about nine o'clock so I'm gonna head upstairs and read I've been reading The Midnight Library, which Chelsea of um, Chelsea Makes Patreon and Legacy Knits Podcast and Fiber Arts had recommended that, and it has been really, really good so far. I've been enjoying it, so I'm going to head upstairs and read for a bit. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you again soon. Bye.